Hi, this is Tim, and today we're cooking using the sous vide method. I'll be making steak, and uh, so they say, I haven't done this before, this is an experiment, we'll, we'll see for ourselves if it works. It may work, it may not, I'm hopeful. You take the steak, I'll be sealing it in a bag, and placing it in a container of water, put it in the rack, and uh, you have a heating element that raises the temperature and circulates the water till the, the meat raises up to the, the exact temperature to the degree that you want it. And because it's in water and it's raised up very slowly, you don't have a, spots that are extra hot or that are cooked better. Uh, it's much more consistent. And then you sear the meat when you're done to give it that, that crust that makes it so good. They say it's really good. I watched a lot of YouTube videos about this method, especially Guga. I really like what Guga does. Um, and uh, he knows his steak he, and he knows he knows uh, how to make it good. So I'm trusting him. We'll see. As Guga says, let's do it. Okay, so let's take our meat. Anita went to the store for me and she got me some uh, uh, New York strip. So hopefully it'd be good. Yeah, I bet, yeah. We don't know. We've never tried this. We've never tried this before, so we really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> now this is supposed to make it nice and tender, right? Yeah, it's supposed to make it tender. It's supposed to be, oh, it, it, yeah. it raises the temperature level of the meat um, very consistently, so you don't have, so you're not, uh, so it's going to cook evenly that way? That's what they say. It's a sea salt and it's flaked and so it doesn't just melt into the meat or rinse off. What we're putting on here is just real simple. Garlic, garlic powder, uh, ground pepper. I like seasoned pepper too. So we're going to do both sides. And yes, I did wash my hands. <laughs> and they said go ahead and go heavy on the, on the spices. So I'm going heavy on the spices. Malden sea salt flakes. <laughs> and I like, I really, really, really like the seasoned pepper. Lori, said, you're the one who showed it to I me. I love right? that stuff, yeah. yeah. Mom uses it too. <laughs> and I like ground pepper. <laughs> I really like ground pepper too, so. The fresh, fresh ground pepper. And they say you need to go ahead and not just do the tops and bottoms, but do the whole thing. Oh, so like the sides, sides and everything? Yeah. Kind of like the chicken up Play-Doh. Yeah. Oh, it's true. A little crusty piece of Play-Doh. Okay, so that's nicely covered. All right, we need to seal it in the thing. Seal it in the thing, you know, the, the thing? The thing? The thing. Oh, the thing. Oh, that's right. The thing. But of course. <laughs> I changed it to the gentle cycle. All we really need to do is get the uh, get the air out of it so that the water can make good contact all the way around. And push the top button on there. Whoa, it turned on and everything. Is the water already hot? Yeah, I preheated the water already. This It does heat it up really fast. I'm, I was impressed. I don't know, um, push the bottom button, see what that does. That turns it off. <laughs> the top one. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, it's on centigrade. It's now on Fahrenheit. Yeah, I preheated it at 119 now. We're going to turn it to 131. 131.0. 131.0. You can get really exact. And that's the nice thing about this. The idea is that it heats, it just, the water just surrounds the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Now, where's the other one? I hate it. The water surrounds it and it slowly brings the temperature. It's like slow cooking. So I went ahead and got the rack for it. And this is not real, it's not very expensive the way that I'm doing it. I mean, you can buy real expensive units, but. So the rack keeps it from uh, touching each other? Right, so the, so just the, the water, water can surround it. And we're gonna set this timer. Are you going for medium rare? We're going for okay. medium rare. Okay, that's it. That's all we have to do. And then we just let it sit there for however long we do it. I'm doing it for a couple, two, for two and a half hours, but uh, a lot of times, if you do like three and a half hours, you can you actually pasteurize the meat, and so you can eat it really rare without it, 
without it having the, I don't know, the microbes, this bad stuff. Anyway, that's what I'm, that's what I'm reading. So, in the words of Guga, let's do it! Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 